I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God, or the universe, or the ultimate cosmic oneness, or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically, right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Huh? But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything. I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Half brain will travel. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Granted. Nick! TV? Nick, how would you feel about an upgrade to your sense of self-protection? Ooh! Can you hear me? Ball of light. Are you in there? Light, dark, and every flavor in between. But all these colors are just one band in this sensual rainbow of rainbows. What is this room, and how can I taste it all at once? And who composed this symphony? Uh, Nick? One symphony is beautiful, but a hundred all at once? Oh god, I can smell the Big Bang. There's an ant in the wall that's grinding its teeth. Everythingness, oneness, nothingness, nothingness, nothingness! Is this cashmere? It's too delicious! I should really go back in there, but I'm just a little scared. 